What did you want? Hey there. I'm proud to be serving under Elder Maxon. I had enough of lions and his foolish ways. familiarized yourself with the Pridman's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? What do these shells do? The Fat Man launcher is an essential part of the Brotherhood arsenal. It's a miniature nuclear payload, in a man-portable format. A squad of troops armed with one of these is virtually unstoppable. If you ever have the pleasure of firing one, allow me to give you a word of advice. Don't fire one of them in close quarters. There won't be enough of you to bury in a shoebox. Is that enough to go on? Super mutants? I thought the enemy was the Institute. Super mutants are no better than sense. They're a reminder of man's folly when it comes to harnessing technology. Whether it's using biochemistry to manipulate genes, or trying to create life from a bunch of circuits. It's the wrong path for science. As members of the Brotherhood, it's our sworn duty to exterminate these abominations in every form. So, can I count on you to get the job done? Consider it done. Look. I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. Super mutants with nuclear weapons? Not gonna be able to sleep at night knowing that. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the Earth. Dismissed. Over here. You don't see a lot of vertebrates in this kind of shape.
set her down and then hightail it back to the Bridwin for repairs. Stay put. Getting hungry.
found that the Army just unloaded the first batch of the uh, M42s this morning. I've only seen the specs for these little beauties on paper, so Private Bertram and I snuck down to take an early look. When I heard that the eggheads were designing a man portable nuke launcher, I thought they were nuts. But they actually got the damn thing to work. And after seeing the real thing sitting right in front of me, I think they could be just enough to tip the balance of this war in our favor. I mean, can you imagine the look on the enemy's face when we get dropped into Anchorage carrying these babies? They won't know what hit them. I am happy for you, as I am happy for me. We are super mutants. Not so long as you're carrying it. But I am special. Do something. Let's go. It is what it is. Maybe you're right, brother. Maybe you're right. Oh. their deposit. So, this is what two centuries without a good... Now, what's this? Hey, come look at this. Hey. What's the plan? Grab anything useful. Yeah, if I were able. Here's what I've got.
move here. See what I can do. Stay there. Guess I'll settle in then. Sooner or later. You hear? You hear? Stop hiding.
Paladin dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Enough preaching already. I get it. Hmm. I suppose you're right. And judging from the corpses around here, you don't appear to need much in the way of motivation. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Heads up. There's something you need? Come on. Good plan. Heads up. Go ahead. Laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. You should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. Remember your three C's: cranium, front, center mass. muster one more time, Captain Kells is gonna have me do a hundred push-ups. Yeah, research patrol. <laughs> Babysitting field scribes. Prestigious. Beats guard duty. Why? What'd you get? Vanguard. You're kidding. Shipping out into the next rotation. I'll try to leave a couple of super mutants for you. Lucky bastard. Check that out. Can't be done. Maxon's orders, all forms of technology should be confiscated or collected. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was a piece of cake. I'm glad you feel that way, because it only gets more difficult from here. 
In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Will the Vertibird stay and help me fight? I'm afraid I can't spare a fully armed gunship for this task. A standard transport will have to suffice. Of course, nothing's stopping you from using a door gun while in flight. The best weapon for survival out here is a pocket full of caps. Signal grenades are usually reserved for our paladins. In your case, you should be grateful that I'm making an exception. Now. I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the Synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. With all this technology at their disposal, our scribes can't find an entire colony of people? The Institute has managed to keep itself hidden for a number of years, but it's only a matter of time before we find them. I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions on where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Teagan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Could those mysterious energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own, so we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Hey. What's the plan? Nick. Hey, let me ask you something. Is something wrong? Well, I, I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. I don't know, Nick. My family's in tatters. I've been dropped into this place where everything's trying to kill me. <laughs> you tell me. Well, I'd expect you to feel lost, scared, and mad as hell. I sure did. It took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. And folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. 
But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. Broken mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Guess he didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. When security finally put enough holes in him to drop him, they say he was full of servos and sprockets, just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Massacre of the CPG? What's that? The Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Why would you want to live among bigots like that? Nah, I couldn't really blame them given the circumstances. But folks sure started turning the other cheek when I showed up with the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd, uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested and said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. You're not a spy, right? Testing, testing. Hello, Institute, can you hear me? <clears throat> Hello. Hell if I know. If I am. The Institute's plan to gather intel on all the runaways of the Commonwealth has been going off without a hitch. Was it hard, settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her, talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, they didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the synth. But it was Nick the detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Hey. Go ahead. Hey, Valentine. What do you need? Your thoughts? The world's a safer place with those nukes out of mutant hands. Now we just have to worry about what the Brotherhood's going to do with them. Your thoughts? The detective's life isn't an easy one, but it rarely lacks for excitement. Your thoughts? The Commonwealth's not an easy place to travel alone. Nice to have someone watching my back. I wanted to make sure things were okay, between you and me. I guess things are all right. I just want to make things right for people out here. My hope is you feel the same. Nothing else, for now. All right. Reactor at 100% efficiency. We're getting at 3%. 
100% Z-Tilt. Testing thrust recommended.